Hi guys, welcome to Kumus. My name is Bala. Today we are going to discuss about installation of Code Black. Code Black is one of the important integrated development environment. It contains many tools to develop our software skills. Okay, now we are going to discuss about the installation procedure of Code Black. Okay, first open the Chrome browser and then type Code Black. In a search box, okay. Enter four blocks in a search box, okay. Search it and then click enter. So it will direct you to the next page. In the very first, we can find that you are okay. Port the installation URL. We can click this URL. So again, it will move to that next page. Okay. So here you can find code blocks. Okay. Uh, latest news migration successful and forums on wiki migration and infrastructure migration. Those things are all present in that home page. Okay. In left side, you can find that one option is called downloads. Okay. You can click downloads. Okay. Okay, after clicking downloads, here you can find uh, the download the binary release, download the source code or retrieve the source code from the SVN. These are key apps. Okay, we have to click binary release, click download the binary release. Okay, so and then it is direct to the next page. Okay. Okay, so here you can find the listed okay extension okay file extension okay so uh, it can then uh, so many links okay uh, but we have to install the fourth one from top to bottom okay we have to select fourth one okay port blocks iphone twenty dot zero three min gw iphone setup dot ext we can uh, click Forzer or SourceForge.net. So I am going to click SourceForge.net. Okay, you can click that option. Okay, so. Okay, we will wait okay few seconds. So now it's, it gets start downloading, okay? So now it's downloading, okay? It is total file size is 145 MP megabytes and it will take few minutes, okay? Few seconds to few minutes. We have to wait for, okay? Up to that time, okay? Okay, now our code block file is tool is completely downloaded now, okay? In uh, left side bottom, you can find that a completely downloaded executable file. Okay. Okay. Here in download section, you can find that executable file. Okay. You can you can double click that. Okay. That executable file. Okay. After double clicking, it will ask for installation. Okay, so now I am clicking next. Okay, so we have to agree that 
terms and condition provided by code block. Okay, I'm I'm agreeing that condition. Okay, terms and conditions. So so I'm clicking next. Okay, okay. It will set the path for the code block ID. So if you want to change your uh, path of your code block ID, you can change. Okay. So it's as for minimum fifty five that you will find five MB of storage. Okay. Already our storage we have enough storage, so I'm clicking next install. So it will start the installation procedure. It will take few seconds. Okay, it will take few seconds to a minute. So we have to wait for until that time. Okay. So now installation procedure successfully completed and. Uh, you can open you can open the code block from the start menu or else you can directly click that icon okay code block icon okay so now our code block is opening now okay Okay, you can open the code block. Okay, you can open from the start menu, or else you can directly double click that code block icon. You can directly you will get this, you will reach this page. Okay, so now you can click create new project. Okay, now you can click create you create a new project. Okay, so here you can find all listed tools, inbuilt tools. Okay. So on project, AVR project, Arduino project, code blocks, like team. Here you can find so many inbuilt development environments. Okay. But we are planning to go for C and C project developments. Okay. Further, you have to click double click console application. Okay. After clicking console application, you will reach this page. Initially, we are going to plan only C programs, okay? C fundamental programs. So we can collect, select C, okay? And then click next, okay? So here you have to give some uh, name project title, okay? Based upon your project, you can name your project title. And uh, so I'm giving as my project title as a swap, okay? Swap. I I given my project title as a swap, and and then click next. Here you can find the folder. Okay, your destination folder path. Okay, so okay, and then project file name will be swap dot c b t. Okay, and resulting file name will be this path. Okay, it is automatically get updated. Okay, if not updated, we have to set our path. Okay. If something, if suppose this path or empty means we have to click that three dot. Okay, we have to set that appropriate path for that destination folder. Okay, and now all the things are get automatically updated correctly. So now we can click next. Okay, so these things are updated from our previous. Uh, data and then so now you can click finish okay before that this is a new compiler okay and this is a compiler type is new compiler new gcc compiler okay so and then click finish okay so now we are directly reaching that okay uh, text editor text editor page okay so this is a work page for our uh, Project title is for and so is it. this. This it contain one example program okay uh, like other function okay. You can here you can find that this is the example program okay and uh, this is a header file ash info studio dot h. It is contain the standard input output function and ash input 
a standard library okay give us a library for library for c okay this contain n number of function okay it contain this library contain n number of uh, n build functions in c okay and uh, this is a simple program for printing other word so if you want to run the program we have to click build and run okay if you click build and run it will show the program in the okay in the display okay now we got hello world printer in the display okay output screen okay and uh, this is run okay actual run button and uh, and uh, this is build button okay most oftenly we are we have to use this build and run only it is the uh, one click can run the can it can run and compile the program and put is the uh, result okay in the output screen okay and again clicking at that build and run button so you can find that hello world text printer and output screen and that's it guys so so the video uh, from this videos you can uh, completely understood the installation procedure of uh, code blocks and how we have to use that code block for developing and c and c++ programs and all you know we understood and if you have any doubts related to this code block installation or you facing any uh, installation difficulties means you can uh, reach out in the comment box and uh, you can uh, definitely you can share your feedbacks in the comment box and uh, it is a valuable feedback for me and and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's only motivate myself to create more videos for you and thank you guys and we will meet on another video thank you guys